I have a Christmas tree. Apologies for the fact that I'm just now filming this at the end of the day, but my day started late and then my parents showed up with my tree. We got to decorating it, putting all the lights on it, and then we went out for lunch. And then we came back, finished decorating, and it just, time got away from me and now it's five o'clock and I just got back from the grocery store and my hair looks terrible. <laughs> and so just now am I getting to like sit down and fully enjoy the fact that this tree is here and I love it so much and I get to sit right next to it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just can't stop staring at it. All the glittery ornaments are just like sparkling. I love my first tree. For like a first tree ever that's my own, I'm just obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. All right, I've talked enough about this tree. Oh my gosh, you probably don't even care. I'm gonna go make dinner now. If you didn't think I was already crazy, I'm about to prove it to you. <laughs> so I just finished eating dinner and it occurred to me that I hadn't yet gone to a Michaels. Plus, because my parents brought a couple of decorations today, there are a few things that I need to kind of go with those things that I didn't know they were bringing. I also wanna get some like command hooks or something to hang up those stockings. So that's where we're at right now. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy but it's only 7.30 and it's, you know, it's a Sunday night. I don't really wanna just sit around by myself. So Mandy's not talking to me right now. She's taking a nap again. So I have to entertain myself somehow. I wish I'd had this energy when NaNoWriMo was happening, but <laughs> we all know how that went. All right, off to Michaels we go. And just like that, I have stockings. All right, I'm officially giving up on Christmas decorations for the day. I am so exhausted. I was just out at the last couple of stores I went to. Sorry, I could show you my whole face. I just got so exhausted. I'm like, met my cats dropping stuff on the floor, of course. I am just so tired. I'm ready to go lay down, but not before. I attempt to make myself some hot chocolate because it has sounded so good all day and yet it was like unseasonably warm today so I didn't really want one and now I kind of do. This is going to be my attempt <laughs> at making hot chocolate with chocolate almond milk and maybe a little Hershey syrup just for good measure. I've never tried this before. I've made hot chocolate with regular almond milk but never chocolate almond milk so We'll see how this goes. Could be a disaster. Product may get hot in the microwave. <laughs> Who would have thought? This one's typically good. All right, we'll see how this goes. I think we have a success, folks. Call me British, because I'm about to make some afternoon tea. <laughs> This 
the sun is starting to set. <sighs> and I am so tired for some reason. Unfortunately, this tea is decaf. <laughs> but I need to take a minute now to edit yesterday's vlog footage. And then, I don't know what happens after that. <laughs> Can you see Mandy over here just like staring off into space? This lovely essence of milk cap. So it's currently, what, 5.30? I thought there was a shelf there. <laughs> there we go. And I was really looking forward to finishing work and going outside and like taking a walk because I think this is like the last day where it's unseasonably warm before a storm comes through tonight and it's supposed to get way colder, but oh, it looks like the sun's already set and I'm kind of bummed. Mandy has literally been sleeping here all afternoon, you lazy butt. So now it's 5.30 and I feel like it's already time for me to go and make dinner or something. So my day is gone. My day is gone. If you're still in school or you're not in work yet, stay there, man. I, I like working. I don't hate working, but your day just goes by in no time. Like you thought school was bad works even worse like your whole day's just gone and i'm even fortunate because i work from home most of the time which helps like i can get stuff done while i'm home so i can do my laundry or wash the dishes and just get stuff like that done while i'm working and it's not like i'm leaving my house <laughs> and driving for 30 minutes and then driving home and it's like my life is gone um, so I'm fortunate in that sense, and that's what I love so much about working from home, but still, like, it just feels like your entire day goes by so fast, especially, like, Mondays. They go so fast. Once it gets closer to, like, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it'll, it'll drag on like crazy, so. Also, I've been struggling today because I ordered a rug for my living room, what, a few weeks ago, honestly, it was, like, mid-November. And it's supposedly shipped on the 19th, and it was supposed to get here on the 24th, but shipping just stalled. Like, it looks like a shipping label was created, it was given to UPS, and then nothing happened. From the place that I bought it from, I called them today, and they were like, it's out of our hands, like, we created the shipping label, there's a tracking number, that means, like, we don't have it anymore, we took it to UPS. But from UPS's end, it looks like the shipping label was created, but they never received the package. So, somehow, a 45 pound rug just got lost. So yeah, I live such an adult life, if you cannot tell. <laughs> All my problems are such adult problems. I am living my absolute most Zoella life right now. <laughs> and by that, I mean I am having the coziest evening. Um, I'm chilling here with my fuzzy blanket next to my tree. I have a cup of hot chocolate, fire's on, I'm watching the bake off, Manny just showed up, and I just feel so cozy and happy and comfy. How do you feel, Mandy? Oh, she wants to lay on my lap. Hold on, let me get situated. <laughs> this was a very Christmas tree centered vlog. So I really wanna know, do you get a fake tree? Do you get a real tree? Um, what kind of tree do you get if you get a real one? And what kind of aesthetic? do you love on your tree or would you do if you had your own tree? This is really like my first year putting up a tree that's just mine where I got to pick everything. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I'm curious what yours would look like if you got to put your own together or if you do put your own together, what's the aesthetic for your tree? I'd love to know. So with this very cozy vibe, I say goodnight and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye guys.